Oh, good day, good day, good day, good day. Um, today I'll be attempting some questions from um, Limpopo Maths Paper 1 trial exam for the year 2023. So without wasting any time, I'm going to start with question number two. So we're going to start with 2.2. So they were telling us that um, the sequence that we are focusing on is a quadratic sequence. So whenever you see a um, question like this, we must always check everything that we are familiar with. Because we know if we are dealing with a sequence um, that is quadratic, we have got A, B, and C, which you must find. So they're asking us, the good thing is that they're asking us to prove that the sequence has a general formula of 4n squared plus n right so in other words we know the value of a must be 4 value of b must be 1 value of c will be 0 because there's no value of c there so they're telling us also the sequence has got the following properties right the fourth term of the sequence is 68 in other words we know that this is the first term of the sequence then i can have the second term the third term the fourth term of the sequence is 68 based on what they're telling us that's the first thing that we can pick up so now they're telling us that 21 and 29 are the second and third terms okay of the first differences oh yeah okay remember the quadratic sequence has got the second difference so they're telling us that we've got the first differences and they gave us the two values for them so we know that between this value, which will be our T1, this will be our the first term, T1, this is our second term, this is our third term, right? This is our third term. So then we've got the third term here. The fourth term, what do you know, since they gave it to us, right? So remember, between T1 and T2, ne? there will be a difference. So basically, there will be a difference between these two terms. Same thing. Between T2 and T3, there will be a difference. Between T3 and T4, there will be another difference, right? So now, let's check the statement. They're telling us that this is the first difference, all of them, but then second and the third terms. So therefore, the first term will be this one for the second difference. Second term will be this one. Third term will be that one. So second term difference, uh, second term of the difference will be 21. The third one is 29 based on the statement right so meaning we don't know the first term of the first difference since they only give us the second and the third term respectively so we know uh, with arithmetic sequence or quadratic right if you've got the difference and the other term therefore to get the term which is term number three term number three plus the difference must give us the term number four right so it can be other way around to get term number three it will be 68 minus 29 right so let's do 68 68 minus 29 um, that will give us 39 so the difference uh, the third term that we are now sure of is 39 because remember 39 plus 29 will give us 68 right so, so same thing will apply again third term we know is 39 and the difference is 21 so therefore Second term T2 plus the difference must give us 39, right? So it must be a number which I'm going to end with 21. That will give me 39. Or you can do 39 minus 21. Uh, that will give us 18. That will be our second term. Sharp. So remember now, we look at the two differences that we have so far. Remember, we know there must be a second difference because it's a quadratic sequence. So we know 29 minus 21 that will give us 8 so our second difference is 8 right so meaning the second difference is always the same throughout in a uh, sequence that is quadratic so meaning here the difference is 8 also the second difference here must also be 8 yeah? so now the same thing applies 21 plus 8 is 29 yeah? so there must be a number that i'm going to 8 8 to to give us 21 or you can do 21 minus 8 so we know 21 minus 8, that will give us 13, right? Sharp. So I know that the difference between term number 1 and term number 2 is 13. So again, same thing applies. 
18 minus 13 that will give us 5, right? So the first term in our sequence is 5. Now we are sorted. We've got the sequence that we have. It's 5, 18, 39, and also 68 as our first term. Now. So now let's find A, B, and C. So to find A, so it would be 2A is equal to the second difference, right? Which is uh, 8. So you divide both sides by the coefficient. So both sides you're going to divide by 2. Also you divide by 2, 8. So meaning our 8, our A, sorry, our A will be 8 divided by 2, which is 4. Né? So the value of A is 4. So if you are, want to be confident, you can go to your TN that they told us. We know the value of A is the first term that before N squared, which is 4. So we are certain that we are correct with A. Now, without wasting time, let's go and find B. So to find B, it will be 3A plus B. is equal to the difference between T2 and T1, which is 13. So remember, A is 4. So this will, this will be 3. And then I'm going to put 4 with this A plus B. Now. That will give us 13. So now we know 3 times uh, 4. That will give us 12, right? That will give us 12. So to save time, we know that the number will go the other side, right? So that we can get B as an answer by itself. So therefore, B will be 13 minus 12, right? Because the 12 will go the other side. So 12 is from 3 times 4. Right? So we know B is equal to 13 minus 12. That is 1. So B is 1. Sharp. So let's quickly finish and find C. So I'm going to squeeze C around here. Right? Just put it out. Okay, I'm going to put it around there. So to find C, remember, it's A plus B plus C. Ne? Plus C plus C plus C. The whole thing is equal to first term, which is 5. Ne? And then the value of A, we know the value of A is 4. The value of B, we know the value of B is 1. C, we are looking for C now. And then it's equals to 5. The whole thing is equals to 5 now. So 4 plus 1, that will give us 5. So in other words, C will be, remember, number will be one side now. C will be 5 minus 5 now, which will be 0. C is going to be 5 minus 5 which will give us 0. So C is 0. So now we go back and check. Remember, the solution will be, because I've got everything now. So TN, I'm going to put it there. TN will be, remember, it must be A N squared. Né? And then we know our A is 4. So it's going to be 4, 4 N squared. Né? Because A is 4. 4n squared plus bn né? plus bn. The value of b is 1. So we're going to have 1 n né? plus c. c is 0. So it's going to be plus 0. And we know this we can easily simplify to 4n n squared. 4n squared. This will be 4n squared. Né? This will be 4n squared plus. 1 times n, which is the same thing as n, and you know plus 0. With math, you can just leave it like that, which is 4n squared plus n, and that correlates with what they were asking us to prove. So that would be a lovely 4 marks. So my advice uh, with such questions, you just uh, break it down and do it step by step. Né? So just take out every information as you're given, and then you can always go forward or backwards in the sequence. So I'll advise that you find A first because I feel like it's easier to find A because just 2A is equal to second difference. If you can get the second difference, because second difference will be the same throughout, then you can find your A. Then you need to find the difference between T2 and T1, which allows to find B. And then C, you need to increase it with the first term to find C. So yeah, thank you very much. I hope this was helpful. And I will try more questions from the same uh, trial 
exam from Lipombo province and then also paper two as well so at least i can expose you guys to how i normally approach these questions now thank you very much for your time